Now, what I want is for that sodium to get nicely alight. Chemistry class just before lunch and the bright sparks of Arleswater Community College. A report out today says children in areas like this are too often left behind. In the northern part of northern England, these kids just don't get the focus London children enjoy. I'd rather work on the farm than be at school at the moment, but I have to come to school, so... A lot of them, like Tom, come from farming families. Well, I get up about half six, check lambing sheep, feed all them, ones inside hay, water, go out, go around sheep, come in, and my breakfast's normally made for me, which is quite a privilege. Come to school, and then when I get back, don't get back till five o'clock or so, feed everything inside and do a few of the jobs on the farm. The Children's Commissioner thinks smart kids like Tom underperform children in the south. What do you want to do? You're just going to run the farm, aren't you? Well, I would like to, but the, obviously times are changing. No, not every farm's managing to make it viable to like for everyone to work on the farm. I would, I do see myself either being a mechanic or a joiner. The government says its northern powerhouse project will revive the north of England, but today it's accused of leaving out too much of the north. Ellie used to live in Manchester and feels there was a lot more on offer there, just 100 miles south. In the science, we would go on trips like almost every month. And recently I went back and I saw, and they're rebuilding the science block, which shows they've got more money and they've got more time to do trips and things like that, which is unfair. Because here, I'm not saying it's bad or anything, but I've not had any trips that I've been able to take part of a lot. The report shows secondary schools is where the gap between northern and southern pupils widens. But this head says his school gets less money than a London school. Disappointed, angry, I feel you know, a sense of injustice, clearly. We seem to be overlooked, you know, year after year in the north. So trying to raise our students' expectations higher. We have to go looking for that culture. So that involves, you know, transporting groups of students across to, to Newcastle University or to go and have a look at a large engineering company in Manchester. It doesn't lie on our doorstep. After years of underfunding, in 2003, the so-called London Challenge saw money and expertise poured into the capital schools. Standards have risen dramatically. Now the Children's Commissioner thinks the same must happen in the north. Her recommendations include better local planning to keep teenagers in apprenticeships, training or education until 18, improving the secondary schools in the north's most deprived areas and a push on recruitment and leadership in northern schools. Next to some of England's tallest peaks, this school is trying to get its pupils to aim high. It's one of many educating 3.6 million children in the north that might need more help. Allegra Stratton, News at 10, Cumbria.